The Russian invasion of Ukraine rages on. Now, in the latest, Central Intelligence Agency Director William Burns has said that Russian President Vladimir Putin believes he cannot afford to lose in Ukraine. He also said that Putin is doubling down on war, but shows no signs of planning to use tactical nuclear weapons. Listen in. I think he's in a frame of mind in which he doesn't believe he can afford to lose. So the stakes are quite high in this phase in, in, in the east of Ukraine, as you know, Ukraine's military, with support you know, from the West, um, continues to resist with a great deal of courage and, and tenacity. And as President Zelensky continues to demonstrate really remarkable leadership and resolve as well. But I, I don't think this means that you know, Putin is, is deterred at this point because he staked so much on the choice that he made to launch this invasion um, that I think he's convinced right now that doubling down uh, still will enable him to make progress. Now, Burns has also warned that China is closely monitoring the conflict. He added that the fierce resistance of Ukrainians has made the Chinese leadership think about its ambitions in Taiwan. Another aspect that has alarmed China is the economic cost that Russia is bearing as a result of the sanctions. Clearly, the Chinese leadership is trying to look carefully at what lessons they should draw from Ukraine about their own ambitions in Taiwan. I don't for a minute think that it's uh, eroded um, Xi's determination over time to gain control over Taiwan. But I think it's, it's something that's affecting their calculation about how and when they go about doing that as well. Now, it's important to know that Burns is a former U.S. ambassador to Russia. He has spent much time studying the Russian leadership. Russia had placed its nuclear forces on high alert shortly after the country invaded Ukraine. Since then, Putin has hinted at willingness to deploy tactical nuclear weapons if the West directly intervenes in the conflict, which has of course not happened yet. However, Burns says that there are no signs that Moscow is prepared to deploy nuclear weapons in order to win the war. Now, meanwhile, the United Kingdom has said that it would provide Ukraine with additional $1.60 billion in military support. The announcement comes ahead of a video call between a group of seven leaders and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Now, in the past, Johnson's government has sent anti-tank tank missiles, air defense systems and other weapons to Ukraine. The new pledge almost doubles Britain's previous commitments. The extra spending on Ukraine will come from a reserve used by the government for emergencies. Britain has provided Ukraine with a significant military aid. However, the country has accepted relatively fewer refugees who have fled Ukraine. Leaders of the G7 countries, that is Britain, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan and the United States, will hold a virtual meeting with Zelensky today. The meeting comes a day before Russia will mark the 77th anniversary of the Victory Day.